Welcome back to the next episode of Meet the Pros. This episode, we're meeting with Jacques Amzelag. He's an insurance broker for home car business, uh, and he works with Racine Chamberlain. He's an independent broker, and he's here to today to talk to us about this increase we've been seeing in insurance premiums since the beginning of, beginning of COVID. So Jacques, thanks so much for uh, joining us today. Please uh, try to explain to us why are our premiums going up? So oh, thank you for having me, Paul. And it's a great question. Uh, now, everyone knows that cost of insurance goes up every year. Everyone tries to find ways to reduce that cost. They go to, you know, they shop with different insurance companies, brokers, and agents. But at the end of the day, what we've been seeing since COVID more than prior has been a steeper rise in the overall cost of insurance for single family dwellings, secondary residences, uh, investment properties such as duplex, triplexes, all the way up to commercial properties such as the multi-residentials, semi-commercials, and industrial properties themselves. Now, the cost of insurance is really based on several different key factors in the underwriting guidelines of the insurance companies. Now, those guidelines can change from one company to the next, but at the end of the day, they all stay, they all stay pretty much stable. However, to facilitate that entire perspective, let's talk about the most the highest cause to increase elements. The first is, and has always been, do you have claims? Well, yes or no will impact your file. The second is, well, does someone in a like category of the insurance segment, such as yourself, have claims? Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, do people who have similar homes in a similar area have had claims over the last couple of years? Because don't forget that the insurance industry is based on the law of large numbers. Premiums of the many are meant to compensate the losses of the few. So although you may have a great track record with no claims, if other individuals, other real estate owners are having claims themselves, those claims are then trickled down in additional premiums to you moving forward. Lastly is the actual type of property you buy, whether it's a single family dwelling, a multi-unit residential, it's the year of construction, the type of renovations, the square footage, and you know, type of the amount of bedrooms and so on and so forth, the age of the windows, and what is the overall value and where is it located? Obviously, something closer to the river is a lot more expensive. Than the situation, however, that took place relative to COVID, which has been almost unseen before, was that COVID caused an increase, a significant increase in cost relative to labor and materials. Now, why is that important in the insurance industry? Well, like anything else, the insurance industry is also tied to the, to, the, you know, to, to the construction. The higher the cost of labor and the higher the cost of materials correlates directly to a higher value of any potential claim. So an insurance company that would pay otherwise $20,000 to redo a basement five years ago, after whether it be a water infiltration, a fire, doesn't really doesn't matter, is today having to spend two or three times that same amount because of the scarcity of labor and therefore having to pay increasing costs in labor, as well as the significant increase in materials, which everyone is you know, quite familiar with at this point. So if an insurance company is paying two or three times the value of a claim and you know, the renovations after a claim that it used to, well, cost of insurance will rise also to compensate that difference. Lastly has been the increase in inflation. We've had the highest inflation in the last 40 years in Canada since the start of COVID. That's also caused insurance premiums to increase that same threshold. And so that's, those are two of the main reasons why insurance companies have found themselves increasing prices more so than ever before at rates that are significantly above what they used to before. You know, Jack, I really appreciate you explaining that to me. Well, to all of us, really, there was actually two things that I found quite interesting there. Uh, one of them was that I didn't realize that my home insurance was affected by my neighbors, meaning, you know, if they're, they're making claims on a similar house like mine, that actually sends my premium up uh, because of the risk of the perhaps the design of the property. And again, you know, when it came to COVID and the cost of uh, labor and uh, material going up, uh, that surprised me too. I just assumed the insurance company was just being greedy and, and trying to grab some money. But yeah, of course, you know, if everything costs more to rebuild, 
you know, that, that cost is going to trickle down the line to, to the user. Uh, but I do know because I do um, all my insurance with Jacques, of course, uh, him and his team are always finding me uh, the lowest rate and the best package for, for my properties, my cars, and, and everything that I do with insurance. And I know Jacques will be happy to do that for you. I'm going to attach all his information to this video. Uh, so, of course, you can get in touch with Jacques. You'd be happy to talk about your car, your home, your business, anything like that. And I know Jacques is going to take great care of you. Jacques, thank you so much for joining me today and sharing all this great information with us. Thank you.